Hey guys, it's me again, Chris, and today I'll be doing something with this old Neutron Odyssey case. Um, what I'm actually planning to do is I'm planning to repaint it uh, with a certain theme. This is an old case that I have. This is the one that I used to um, use with the i3, with the i3 case. Now, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much empty. There's nothing there. There's a bit of rust at the top of the case here. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to to modify this this case. Um, oops. <laughs> I'm planning to modify this case and I'm, I'm planning to give it a Wonder Woman kind of um, theme to it. So uh, yeah, so just watch the video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, if I'm going to talk while I'm doing all the modifications or if I'm just going to go ahead and time-lapse most of it. But anyways, I'll show you the whole process, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, so since I mentioned that I wanted to give this case a Wonder Woman um, theme to it, I, I was thinking, I, I was actually torn between going with Gal Gadot Wonder Woman or the the older Wonder uh, Woman theme wherein she had a star-spangled, you know, trouser. So I'm leaning towards going with the darker Gal Gadot, uh, modern DC Wonder Woman. But to pay homage, uh, I took apart all the screws that came along with, with the computer. Yeah, here they are. They're, they're pretty rusty, so I'm going to clean them off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these white. So, you know, kind of act as if uh, they're the stars on Wonder Woman's panties. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and continue with the actual uh, case. So, I'm going to take it apart and then I'm going to go ahead and clean it off with uh, sandpaper right here really fine sandpaper so I could get rid of all the rust and all the other stuff and then I'll go ahead and paint it. Since this is uh, an ITX case, it's pretty small, pretty easy to, easy to take apart as you just saw. I'm not going to bore you with the whole um, filing and all the other good stuff about cleaning the case. I'll probably show you the paint painting process, but I'm just planning to use spray paint, uh, acrylic spray paint for, for cars, so it should work here. So yeah, be back in a sec.
Alright, so an update on the actual paint job. So earlier, what I showed you was me filing the, the case uh, to prepare it for the, for the paint job. And I've also attached a masking tape on, on the sides. The idea is I want to give this case that, again, Wonder Woman look, um, the, Zack, the, uh, the Zack Schneider Wonder Woman, uh, a bit darker compared to the old school Wonder Woman look uh, from the comic books and the earlier TV shows. So again, we're going for the Zack Schneider look. So it's going to be darker. So I sprayed red here just, just to see how it's going to look like. Now, uh, during the part when I was... Uh, when I was... Or, or before I started painting the actual case, you might have noticed me uh, spraying spraying the, the, the case with um, hairspray. I'm going to explain why I did that. The reason why I sprayed the case with hairspray before use, using the actual paint is because the way for me to achieve that darker Wonder Woman look or the darker uh, Wonder Woman outfit effect is for me to so, sort of brush off the paint not really brush off of but but wipe it off with with um with scott with scotch bright or anything similar something coarse that will um r rub off and give you that darker shade of red and blue that i want to achieve um what the hairspray does is it makes sure that the paint does not completely adhere to the actual case so it's going to be easier to rub off later on uh, once I get the effect that I want now the reason why, why I'm doing this right now this exact thing wherein I'm removing the tape is because my idea is to give that red blue and gold color scheme of Wonder Woman to the case and this gold part this part right here will be the outline or highlights um, and then the rest of the rest of the sides will be co co um, covered with red paint. Okay. This is gonna stay gold. Later on, once it completely dries, I'm gonna go ahead and cover that with with masking tape as well. All right. So again, um, I'm all over the place. Sorry. So so again, uh, what I want to achieve here is to secure the outline or the highlights first, the gold highlights, and then I'll start painting the case with red and blue. Uh, the sides will be covered in red paint. The actual body will be covered in blue. I'm thinking if I'm going to do the same thing with, if I'm going to paint the graphics card, the GPU, with gold paint to give it that same accent. So I'm still torn about that let me show you the GPU okay so this is the actual graphics card it's an NVIDIA GTX 750 so I can remove it I can remove this part this plastic part and uh, paint it gold as well however I'm, I'm I, I'm really not sure if I want to do that since this is going to be more of a covered uh, build. Uh, you're not really going to see what's inside unless you open the actual case. So kind of defeats the purpose. So I may not do that at all. So yeah, so let me just let this paint completely dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to start covering the gold parts with masking tape and continue with the actual paint job. So, I'll see you guys again later. I'm just gonna let it dry for now. And show you the process on how I'm go going to achieve that darker Wonder Woman feel that I wanted. The problem is, the paint that I, that I have is traditional paint. Traditional red, blue, and gold. 
so it wouldn't give me that metallic look that the Zack Schneider Wonder Woman has. So I'm going to have to force it to have that effect. So yeah, see you guys later. Okay, so at this part of the painting process, this is where the uh, this is where the magic of the hairspray comes in. So what I'm gonna do? I just need to wipe this off. Give me one sec. Yeah. So as I was saying, this is where the magic happens. This is where the uh, the hairspray application uh, comes in. Uh, this this I'm gonna show you why I did that. So I'm just gonna spray some water on this. I have an old um, sponge, pour sponge. You can do scotch bread if you want. I'm just gonna wipe it. Now as so I'm wiping it off What's gonna happen is the areas that were sprayed with uh, hairspray would slowly chip off. So I'm, I want to do this as neatly as I can to ensure that the paint job doesn't get ruined. So let's see. I switched onto the side panels first. Um, I need to dry off that the top part since uh, it's a bit too wet. And, and this is not a great. This is an old sponge. Should have uh, bought a new one for this. But anyways, I've been doing it with this panel, and I don't know if you can see it. I I, I initially applied a thin layer of gold paint, and. I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up, but you can see that from what I can see, the gold, the, the gold slightly um, shines through the actual paint. I hope the camera can show this. Now, to me, to my eyes, I can see that it's giving off that metallic feel. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I don't want to be. I don't. I didn't want it to be a perfect red or a perfect blue. Because I wanted to get that modern DC effect or or or, or, or color contrast, if you will, on the actual case. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. And I'm gonna sh shut up. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the tape. By the way, so. We could all see what it looks like. Have no idea if, if, if it's still gold or what. The the paint that I that I bought unfortunately isn't very good with with, with um, this type of metal. So let's see. Oh, this doesn't look good. I, I don't know. Maybe that's tape. I'll find out. Okay. I don't like. Oh God! This is what I was afraid of. So it's okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, I didn't want it to have that perfect red or perfect gold or even perfect blue color. It's not like I'm trying to uh, paint characters in a comic book. But what I am trying to do is give it that modern DC feel. So I think I can still achieve it. I'm going to check what I can do about those imperfections. I should have used actual painter's tape instead of masking tape. So this, is, this is beginning to become more of a chore than anything else. But yeah, 
it's okay. I'm still hopeful. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping it would still come off as I imagined. And this color, oddly, is more of an Iron Man themed color than Wonder Woman. <laughs> it's kind of ironic because the initial idea was I'm gonna go with an Iron Man theme. But I already have that uh, on my Mac. Try to see what I can do to repair this. I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, so what I did for now is I removed all the tape from, from the panels from the front, side, and top just to get an idea of what I need to work with. So, and just to give you an idea what, 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 the, what the goal is, this is how I pretty much want the case to look like. Although I, I'm second guessing my my decision to color the, the body blue since as you can see it's kind of contrasting but we'll see like I said I'm still gonna go for I'm gonna try and go to make it look metallic and a bit dirty so I hope I'm hoping or I'm hoping that that would look better even considering putting stars here white stars on the top we'll see okay so stay tuned uh, I'm gonna give you updates on on this build so what i'm basically doing now is sanding off those imperfections um not 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 to hide them but what i what i want to do is make make it a part of the actual case so i want it to look like it's imperfect it on purpose. Okay, so let me just concentrate on doing this. I'll just keep on recording. Like I, I'm trying to do this with one with one stroke. I, I don't want it to, you know, um, be all over the place. I want it. I want it to look battle scarred, but still presentable. Let me try to do that with a. With, do the same thing with the metal parts. This is actually plastic. I'm not sure how it looks like on on the video, but. It looks pretty decent. I, I guess I'll fix it up later on. Uh, let me try it with the metal parts. Okay, so I think I have an idea. While I'm doing this, I figured out that what I can do, since it's kind of removing that uh, red paint, it's actually starting to look like magenta or dark pink. What I'm going to do is after I do all of this sanding and the scrubbing, is I'm going to give it a light um, coating of red paint still trying to think if I should allow that that light cover to go over the gold lines we'll see Okay, so what I've done 
is uh, I've uh, after after sanding the the panels and the case last night. What I've done is I have pretty much um, sprayed uh, another layer, thin layer of uh, blue paint for the case and red for the panels, and then I, I sort of brushed golden black uh, at, at the the actual case so I could have this slightly glittery look <laughs> and uh, and the black the black paint is more of uh, an effect as if as if it's battle battle scarred or, or you know or or she's been into uh, a fight with doomsday or, or whoever so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna scrub it um, with a sponge uh, this is from from one of my spare aquarium uh, spongy thingies so yeah let me do that right now the reason why I'm doing this is I don't want it to look really clean I, I mentioned that earlier I want to give it that you know that modern Wonder Woman feel and at the same time make it look a bit worn out <coughs> Sorry, because because these guys they're, they're not when you see them on movies they're not always clean they have that oh they're gonna look clean at the start of the movie and then later on you're gonna notice that you're gonna notice that they, they, they they're they're gonna get pretty battle scarred so that's the look that I want here I don't want it to be a perfect paint job since it's gonna be difficult um, I'm not sure if this is anodized aluminum or just powdered I, I can sand I, I can if I wanted to I can sand it off completely and expose that that silvery stainless look but you know it's gonna take a lot of time to do that and the parts for this computer they're already here so so I need to get this done. So you know, this is by design. It's it's not going to look like a perfect paint job at all. That's not what I'm aiming for. You can see here on this panel it's pretty clear that that I sprayed black paint here I wanted that because aside from this is the natural color of the case this is these are parts where I completely sanded it off and I want to give it that gradient color gradient it's kind of painful in the eyes if you look at the red and blue case it's kind of it's gonna look like a Lego block. It's gonna look like a Lego block. And yeah, nope. It's not my style. But this is nice. This is a happy accident right here. I didn't. I didn't intend to put any scratch scratches here. I just put this panel on top of this one. And I can work with this. I'm actually good with that. I'm just gonna scrub it off some more. See if I can expose the the inner layer. So yeah, I'm just gonna scrub here. I'm gonna shut up for a while. Just watch the video. I'm gonna time lapse again right about now. And by the way, at this point, I'm not going to use any more sandpaper. Reason being is because if you do that, the red's going to start looking like, you know, uh, dark pink. Or, or kind of like magenta. It, it's unfortunate that we don't have any Krylon paint here in the Philippines. That's a really good paint. And I, I'd really love to work with that paint with other projects. I think I could do a lot of good, uh, nice stuff with that kind of paint.
I'll just stop the video now. I'm gonna go ahead and build the PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna perform the assembly of the actual PC and while I do that, I'll go ahead and install Windows 7 um, on a USB drive. So once everything is up and running, all I need to do is install. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna shut up again and put the video on a time lapse. See you later. So right here I have a problem. Um, this is a different motherboard from the one that was originally on this case. Even with this kind of um, heat sink, it was working fine. Everything else fit in place inside the actual case. This time I can't attach it. I can't attach the, the rear fan to the CPU. I have another fan there it's smaller I think it, it would fit but I'm thinking of trying to mount this outside so it's gonna look pretty bad though so I'll probably opt for that smaller one until I get the actual fan I purchased for this uh, motherboard the actual heat sink we're gonna use on that so I'll be right back
so guys just to give you an update here is the Wonder Woman inspired um, CPU that I built as I mentioned um, I wanted it to look like the modern Wonder Woman not the old Wonder Woman and I wanted it to look battle scarred not perfectly painted as you can see here I scraped off some of the paint that's why I used the hairspray that was the purpose of using it I also sprayed some gold spray paint the actual panels and black spray spray paint as well to give it that darker darker look battle worn look battle scarred look and I also scraped off some of the sides and edges of the actual case so yeah it's working fine now running on, on an i3 processor uh, 8 gigs of RAM uh, I forgot the actual graphics card it's the old graphics card that I was using so there she is oh and by the way I told you I am gonna paint the screws white I did you can see here at the back of the case those are white screws yeah so they're like the stars on Wonder Woman Spanny so yeah that's just an update video I hope you liked it if you did hit like and subscribe share it with your friends if you have old cases you can definitely try to do this it's gonna it's gonna be badass I mean sorry for, for the word but yeah it looks pretty awesome at first I was you know a bit disappointed I, I thought it looked either like Iron Man or Optimus Prime's head so, <laughs> but after applying the decal at the front I'm gonna have to remove that by the way uh, there's a clear tape there that you can see I'm gonna remove that after applying that everything just fell into place so yeah see you guys in the next video peace